Okay, so this is a little short video on um, installing maxi drive low range gear sets into LT230 transfer cases. So we've got the case itself here, and you can see that inside it's been relieved for the greater diameter of the maxi drive low range bull gear. This is all in the instructions. Um, I'm just going over the assembling of it because it's a bit different to what you would do with the factory assembly manual. So normally with the uh, workshop manual, you would have your case ready to go. You would have your rear output housing installed in the case, which would be down there with the output shaft coming up through there. You would assemble your center diff. In this case, it's an Ashcroft ATB. You would assemble this as per normal low range gear, high low hub, selector ring, high range gear, bush, bearing a nut all torqued up, all your end floats checked. And you would take that whole assembly and install it through there, no problems. The issue is because of the lower gearing, the bull gear is a bigger diameter, it does not fit through the hole. So there's a pretty simple solution to this, and we'll show you that. So you would have had the, uh, assem the center diff assembly put together to check the end flow at the very least. So that is the center diff, low range output gear, high low selector hub and selector ring, high range output gear with the bush that runs inside it, I use a dummy bearing and then the nut torques to the correct spec, which I think is 70 nm. And you want to check end float between the top of the output gear and the bottom of the hub. Just in there, top of output gear, bottom of hub, and then between the top of the hub and the underside of the high range output gear, or you can check between the gear, output gear and the flange of the bush. So the other thing that you'll have to clearance is the high range selector shaft. And you'll see that the back of that has been clearanced for the larger diameter of the bull gear. So you wouldn't have staked your nut over. You can just remove that and we'll under the assembly so we can assemble it inside the case. Dummy bearing is simply the correct bearing. This is a used bearing but in good condition and all I've done is linish the inside of that with a die grinder just to make it so it slips on and off. Very handy for setup and checking even when you're clearancing the case and you want to run all this together to make sure it rotates and doesn't rub on any of the ribs and extra bits you have to remove. Output gear with bush. You'll notice that the dog teeth on this are thicker. That's because this is an earlier case. I'm not sure exactly when. I think late 80s, early 90s, they went to the thin dog teeth. God only knows why, but we'll see how thick the teeth are on the high-low hub. Much thicker across there, much stronger, as are the dog teeth. And when we're talking gear strength, you've got to remember that all this is good, all good and well. But all of the drive force is taken through the dog teeth by the selector ring through the hub which is blind to the center diff. So this all comes off. Same again thick dog teeth there. You'll see the bolts in here. This is actually the original prototype, the very first low range gear set built by Maxi Drive. And what they did was use the core, use the center of a factory output, low range output gear. Machined everything off that and made it to a new outer EN39B, I believe, case hardened gear material 
This is run in their car, I mean Mal's car, for many years to proof, proof of uh, concept and still going strong, as you can see, in excellent condition. So we'll, bearing will go in there, and of course when you're assembling this finally, it won't be a dummy bearing, it'll be the correct bearing. And I suggest that heating it up may help, depending on the assembly, how long it takes to get this all together. High, low, select a fork. Output gear with bush dog teeth facing up. High low selector hub with the selector ring. Engage that, engage that. That'll be all nicely aligned. Pull gear or low range output gear, dog teeth down. Has to be offered in through there, obviously. And then centre diff. Picking up one handed oil is not recommended. see that that all clears nicely and there is no way that gear is going through that hole so that's just a little bit of how to put that bastard together.